Hey guys, what is going on? It is Josh Norton 22 and in this video we're going to be opening up the uh, the Game Changer bundle and we got the the new foot or the new uh, NFL Honors players. Uh, we're about to take a look at them, compare them real quick to some of our players. Um, so first of all, we got the uh, the Odell Beckham Jr. we're about to look at. I seen Ryan pull him earlier on YouTube, so congrats to Ryan. Um, I'm I'm gonna open up the foot or the Game Changer bundle in this video and try to pull him myself. Uh, he's only 24 hours only, I'm guessing. 96 speed, 100 spec catch, 97 catch in traffic. Let's compare him to Antonio Brown. So he's better overall. He's an inch taller. Um, same speed, one more awareness, one more catching, less elusiveness. Better spec catch. Brown has better release, better route running, better catch in traffic. So I don't know. I'm kind of liking Brown a little bit more. Um, honestly, the, I mean, the 100 spec catch is cool and all, but uh, it's not really like that important for a slot wide receiver. So uh, now we're going to back out. We're going to go over here to DT, and we're going to take a look at Aaron Donald. Um, so I still have the team of the year, Aaron Donald. But from what I've seen on Twitter is that this Aaron Donald, the NFL Honors, hasn't been going for too much. So I'll probably buy this one. And I'll probably just end up getting rid of my Aaron Donald. I mean, you see right there, he's already down to 265. I think he's just going to keep dropping. Um, he is 24 hours only, though. So I think his price is going to go up. I'm going to buy him by the end of today. Right there, we're comparing him to Sue. He has one less strength, better tackling, same block shed, one less power move, but better finesse. Um, so it's basically like having two Nadamik and Sue's if I get him, but he's faster, which I'm really liking. Comparing him to the old Aaron Donald, he's two better in every stat, um, three better in some, just overall better than his other card. So definitely going to be picking that up. Need another really good DT there. And the uh, the team of the year, Aaron Donald, is probably dropped in price a lot. Let's go take a look. So. So we can see what we could sell him for. See how much coin loss we're going to take here. So the, that one was 265. This one's at about 70k. So I'm going to lose about 200k making that upgrade. But definitely an upgrade I'm going to make. So uh, I haven't even checked for the. If you guys haven't seen the new uh, the new community challenges are live. Make sure you do those. Make sure you get your badges. Uh, all three should be live. The team of the week, the community challenge. Make sure you do that. I did get to mention team of the week in my video yesterday, but there are new team of the week cards. So when you pull a pack, you can also pull those. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and pull this game changer bundle we got here. We got um, a Super Bowl topper pack plus five game changer packs. Hopefully we can get something good. We're gonna go into this right now. Hopefully we get at least one good pull out of this. Get a gold badge. I mean those are guaranteed. But still, get a Jeremy Lane, a Tyvon Branch, so just a bunch of golds in that first pack. Nothing too spectacular. We got four packs left. Come on, we need at least one good pull so I can get a good freak out in this video. Not liking this pack so far. Steven Tolick. Get a Dante Hightower. At least that's something. But you know, we're looking for something a little bit more. And we get a gold badge. I've only pulled an elite badge like once out of these game changer packs ever. So what I think about doing is um, actually buying the other game changer bundle. And then waiting until the other NFL honor players are released. And then try to pull for those two. Get a, a gold badge again. Oh, we get a 90 overall Malcolm Butler team of the week. Goes into the team of the week set. At least we got an elite pull there. Nothing really to freak out about. And nothing in this pack. So we got two more packs left. Come on, Madden. Come on, give me a good pull, please. So we're going to reverse in this pack. Oh, we get a John Coon. I seen the Elite Flash. I thought it was going to be something really good. Oh, we get a 93 Julian Edelman. I'm really liking this pack. Come on. Bring me some luck. Really want one of these NFL Honors players, even though my chances of pulling them are not that good. Really just want one, though. I know I have a few more days to pull some more though. I'm going to open up packs every day trying to pull these. I'm not going to uh, spend too much of my coins though. So last pack here. Get a gold badge again. Don't think we're going to get it guys. It doesn't look like we're going to get it. Last card. And it's a Michael Huff. So we didn't get it unfortunately. Uh, we got this Super Bowl topper pack we're going to open here. 
get a Malcolm Smith and a Fridge collectible. So at least we got an Elite collectible out of this. But guys, thanks for watching the video. That's pretty much it for today's video. Make sure you're staying out there trying to pull packs, get those NFL honors players. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Link's in the description below. Don't forget to like the video. If you're new to the channel, click the annotation to subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the Game Changer Bundle. Sorry we couldn't get anything too good out of it, but we did get a couple of Elite Pools. Uh, nothing like what Ryan got. If you didn't see his, go check out his. It's on his channel, xryan915. He just had insane luck in, that, uh, in his pack opening earlier. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. And until the next video, peace.